Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to, let's call this like the warehouse setup vlog or, or something like that. So I have been uh, asked by several people to kind of document the process of setting up the warehouse and moving into that space. So that's what this uh, little, I guess we'll call it a mini series is gonna be. Uh, sort of informal, um, take you along with the whole thing vlog style stuff. So that's what that is. So in case you're not aware, I recently leased a warehouse space to help grow the physical side of the business, so all the physical products and stuff. Um, so right now it is chair kits and the workbench kits and uh, you know slabs and stuff like that. So the only thing that's really going to be happening over there is like order fulfillment or things that don't happen you know on camera. There's going to be some overlap, of course, but the idea with that space is that's all stuff that happens off camera, and then everything that happens on camera, which is like you know the sawmill and the shop and everything, is still going to be happening right here. So I've already brought some stuff over to the space and one of the things I'm using it for is just kind of overflow space for my own stuff. So I have my entire lumber collection that I have that's uh, stored in my basement. I'm moving that over to the warehouse because there's just more space there of course and then we'll have more space in the house for you know house stuff. So all my lumber is going to go over there and live over there. Um, it's sort of thinking like the things that I don't need every day, I don't need that often can be there. So lumber is a big thing of big thing in that category. I only need to look at my lumber when I start a new project and if I do it here or do it at a warehouse 20 minutes from here it doesn't make a big deal because I'm not doing it all the time. It's uh, it's efficient enough. So lumber is going over there, all my stuff, and then anything I have is already dried will go over there as well. Now a couple days ago I picked up some used pallet racking from a uh, I guess like a used industrial supplier place here in town. I hauled that over to the warehouse space and just kind of pulled it into the space just to get it in there and get it ready to be set up. And uh, we'll set that up here in a little bit. So today I'm gonna head over. I have a delivery I gotta be there for. And uh, I thought we just could then do like a before kind of shot, take a walk around the space, see where everything is and see maybe what I have planned for it at this point. Cause plans are very dynamic. <laughs> Goodbye house. <laughs> Okay, here we are. So there's the loading dock and then here's my door. Okay, so here's kind of a blank space. So there's the, the lumber and the racks I brought over. I got some chairs for the chair kits. So my space is essentially this area here. And then on the other side of the aisle here, all of this is mine as well. So I forget what the exact breakdowns are, but I think this is 800 square feet and this is the remaining uh, would that be 1,600 square feet, roughly? So I got some, uh, some room to grow. I got the water heater thing there, but it's not included in that uh, count. So the racks, I'm thinking I'm gonna put some here, and then I'm gonna throw a rack here and a rack here to kind of get this out of the way. I'll give me some space to put stuff on, and uh, I can get some of this lumber up on some racks. So then there's the, uh, there's a loading bay door, and there's a man door right there. So that's the uh, overall space of things. And this is just the first load that I pulled out of the basement. So I've got some uh, larger type of slabs here. And then I have one pallet that's 12 feet long that has some boards and some other slabs. That's just the first load from the <laughs> basement clean out. I probably have probably at least two, if not three loads uh, similar size to that. So now we're just waiting for this truck to get here and pull up to this loading bay. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the forklift. This is a unit carrier, so that's the uh, what's well, Nissan? It used to be Nissan. They uh, rebranded some time ago, so it's a 7,000 pound forklift. It's the same chassis size as the um, the fours and the fives. So the 
The total width is the same. The only difference is the size of the counterweight. So on this lift, the counterweight comes out this much further. So it's maybe a foot longer than a 5,000 pound lift, but can lift more. So that's kind of nice. So the biggest thing with the lifting capacity on this has to do with the setup of this warehouse. So if I take something off of the truck, like my, my truck, and I'm not gonna use a loading bay, I have to drive it in through this uh, entry door, which is over here. That door is nine feet wide. So if I wanna do something that's like 10, 11, 12 feet long, like that pallet there, I'd have to uh, pick it up from the end. So of course you can't lift nearly as much when you're picking from the end like that. So the extra capacity on a lift will allow me to end pick a little bit easier. Plus because it's, if it's the same size, it'll be a little more future proof. I can lift a lot more in the future if I need to. Okay, so quick walk around again. There's the, uh, the counterweight thing. I did go with propane just because of its cost, I guess. The machine itself costs less than an electric unit and because it's not gonna see a whole lot of use and the other lifts in this building are LP anyway, uh, I'm not super worried about it. Electric would be nice because it's quiet, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> this is a brand new forklift. I, uh, I looked at some used ones and what happens with forklifts is they tend to see a pretty rough life and I don't really wanna deal with someone else's problems. So I just decided to go ahead and buy a brand new one and not to really worry about it. Because what I'm trying to do with this warehouse space is set up to be as efficient as possible. So yes, I could fix a problem on a forklift and spend a half a day doing it, but uh, I'd rather not have to spend half a day doing it. I'd rather spend my time doing something else. So that's where I'm at in my life. So brand spanking new forklift. So I think that should be a pretty good intro to the series. Uh, in future little vlog things, we'll do some more stuff with the forklift, get the pallet rack set up and get uh, chair kits shipping headquarters set up as well so still a lot of things to go i'm looking forward to bringing you along so hopefully you enjoyed this little quick uh tour into what's to come i guess <laughs> so thank you as always for watching i greatly appreciate it. if you have any questions on the warehouse the uh the shop at home or anything else in my life please feel free to leave me a comment as always i'd be happy to answer any questions you might have and until next time <laughs> happy working <laughs>